it's a high risk, high reward type case. It's tough to keep a low profile while driving around in a forklift, particularly in a place where there is guaranteed to be a lot of cameras like this safe credit union on Wa Avenue north of I-80 in North Highlands. Instead, Sacramento County Sheriff's detectives say these ATM thieves tried to hide in plain sight. They think that if they're wearing a construction vest, nobody's going to question their legitimacy being at a bit closed business. It worked at first. So they actually stole the uh, forklift from a nearby construction site, drove it uh, northbound Watt Avenue for a few miles with a work truck behind it, and nobody called it in, nobody questioned it. But ultimately, detectives say it's what led them to their suspect. Shortly after the ATM theft, we um, found that this person had committed an additional burglary. This burglary. Just a few weeks after the ATM heist at a home just a few miles away. The victim of that burglary had very good surveillance photo and it showed the suspect walk up wearing a orange construction type vest. Detectives arrested Natalie Charles Russo, recognizing the look. They say he's also charged with using a forklift to steal an ATM in Citrus Heights in 2021. In fact, his previous mugshot had him wearing a construction vest. So when we looked at him, you see that vest, it, that kind of speaks for itself. And then there were his text messages. He was talking to a female conspirator where he was talking about uh, committing the crime itself, both before and after. Also talking about the uh, vehicle that was used in the crime, what they did with it afterwards. He says that prompted the arrest of Stevie Lenning, the accused accomplice in what ultimately turned out to be an ATM heist gone wrong. The ATM apparently fell out of the truck bed and into the middle of the road, causing a crash later that morning. It was dark and I didn't see it in the street. He was able to drive away with minor damage to his truck. In North Highlands, Lizzie Mitri, KCRA 3 News. And KCRA 3 talked to the burglary victim who said while the thieves did break into his garage, they were not able to steal anything.